human body. In our lifetimes, it will carry us an average of 130,000 kilometers. And whatever we do, the skeleton, musculature, and organs work together in perfect harmony. That is, as long as we're healthy. Still, these days, bones, joints, tissues, and even most of the internal organs can be replaced. We can twist and turn smoothly and bend in any direction we want to. More than a hundred joints give us our huge range of mobility. But what happens when parts of our complex movement apparatus fail due to injury or just wear and tear? Often a joint replacement helps when all else fails. Hips are the most frequent joint to be replaced followed by knees, the major reason, deterioration. Every year here in Germany, some 300,000 operations take place for knee and hip replacements, and not all of them without complications. What you find in artificial joints is metal. Later on, germs can lodge there and cause an infection. Infection and loosening in the early phase, but also in the later stages, you can have big problems with the joints. But nowadays, nearly all joints can be replaced by plastic, most easily the large joints. You don't have to be an athlete to have shoulder problems, and seemingly minor things can cause a lot of damage as minor as poor posture when sitting at a desk. In Germany, some 6,000 shoulder joints a year are replaced. Elbow joints, on the other hand, are replaced fairly seldom, and then it's mostly due to accidents or serious rheumatism. Accidents such as sporting injuries can damage the ankle joint badly enough that the cartilage suffers long-term damage. Here too, the joint has to be replaced with a plastic one. As many as 80% of joint replacements are the result of accidents. That is the one development. And that's the one development where we're trying to keep as much of the patient's own bone as possible during a joint replacement. But the other development is the attempt to come up with better and better materials, such as polyethylene. That doesn't produce abrasion, which can lead to the joint becoming loose over time. But internal organs, on the other hand, can't be replaced with plastic. Here, the patient is almost always at the mercy of an organ donor who has recently died. In the past year in Germany, there were more than 4,000 organ transplants. 12,000 seriously ill people are currently on waiting lists. Of these, three die every day. These days, we can successfully transplant most internal organs, especially the kidney, liver, heart and lungs, even the pancreas and the small intestine. The majority of people waiting for a new organ need a kidney. Around 9,000 kidneys are transplanted a year. The kidneys act as the body's waste treatment plant. But when more than two-thirds of the organ has failed, the body can no longer rid itself of toxins sufficiently. Causes of kidney failure include chronic inflammation or infection. But with the help of dialysis, patients can live for years, even with less than perfect kidney function. But patients waiting for a new liver, pancreas, heart or lung often only have a few weeks' time. Next to the kidneys, it's the liver that's most often transplanted, with around a thousand operations a year in Germany. Nearly half of these are the result of alcohol abuse. The liver is the central organ of our metabolism, and the transplant doesn't always have to involve the whole organ. A part of it can also be transplanted, and from a living donor particularly with children. Attempts are now being made with some organs, like the pancreas, to transfer cells. In these cases, only those cells that produce the crucial hormone, insulin. The reason we haven't been able to do this so far, although it has a significantly lower complication rate than with the transplantation of a whole pancreas, is that it's difficult to isolate enough of these cells together and afterward to prevent the recipient's body from rejecting the cells. 
nach der Transplantation dieser Inselzellen zu verhindern. There's a risk of rejection with all transplant operations. Complications are one reason the three meter long small intestine is not often transplanted. Of those operations, there have so far only been 800 a year worldwide. The small intestine's assignment is to break down food and get the nourishment into the bloodstream. Many tissues can also be recycled. Heart valves, blood vessels, bones and cartilage. Take the small bones in the ear. There are even artificial implants available for these. Much more frequent are corneal transplants. In Germany, almost 5,000 of them take place every year. Skin and cartilage can even be produced in a laboratory. Scientists dream of one day creating new joints or entire organs out of stem cells. Replacement parts for the human body. The future has just begun.